Any health-related information on the following show provides general information only. Content presented on any show by any host or guest should not be substituted for a doctor's advice. Always consult your physician before beginning any new diet, exercise, or treatment program. Welcome to Accelerated Health TV and Radio Show. I'm your host, Sarah Banta. I'm health coach, natural supplement expert, and a busy mom of three. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below so you're notified every week with my new podcast on Mondays and Tuesdays. And if you haven't already, join my free group coaching on Telegram with the link below. There is no downside. I teach you on a daily basis with tips and tools to enhance your health and answer your questions. And you will be a part of a like-minded group to support you on your journey in addition to truly taking control of your health. My goal is to reach everyone on earth with eyes to see and ears to hear my message of healing. Help me with that goal. Share this podcast with a few of your friends who may need my help. We are talking about banishing candida and how to do it effectively without suffering the side effects that you normally do. And we're into January right now, right? Over the holidays, probably drank a little more, probably ate a little more sugar. And yeah, maybe you got a little unexplained weight gain and you're going to the gym and trying to get after it. But guess what else might be happening? you might have candida because guess what feeds that candida in there? It is that sugar. So what are signs? Toenail infection, a skin rash, bad unexplained weight gain. It could be stemming from a fungal infection on the inside of your body and trying to escape out through the skin. I remember um, when one of my kids um, was in those teenage years, when you had teenage acne, she actually had double whammy with candida trying to come out of her skin. And it was horrific. So we didn't just go after the acne, we had to actually do a candida cleanse. So this hits hits home for me. um, And it's no fun and candida can make you feel really yucky as well. It is one type of fungal infection that can overtake the body if it's less untreated. Candida albicans is the most common type of yeast infection found in the mouth, the intestinal tract, and the vagina. It may also affect skin and other mucous membranes. It's if the immune system isn't functioning op- optimally, the yeast infection can grow and become more serious. It th- then it can migrate to places in including the blood and the membranes around the heart or the brain, causing more serious candida symptoms. So you want to catch it before it gets to that point. Now, can this candida be beneficial? It's a fungus that helps the body with nutrient absorption and digestion when in the proper levels of the body. It's just like bacteria and viruses in our gut, that whole microbiome. We've talked to Karan Krishnan about it, and um, it is like this whole ecosystem and everything's supposed to be in balance. We all have H. pylori. We all have candida. We all have fungus and viruses and bacteria, but they're all supposed to be in this nice little playground. And the problem is, is when one of them becomes um, overpopulated and takes over the, the, the good bacteria, it helps it in that ecosystem of the microbiome, there's that healthy balance. So the candida is the most common fungal resident in the human gut microbiome with hundreds of other bacterial species that bacterial and the fungus um, have an interdependent relationship as long as they're all in the proper balance and the immune system is keeping that balance under control. Under certain conditions, the candida can shift from being a commensal organism to a pathogenic organism, meaning that it takes over, there's too much candida, and then the symptoms of candida overgrowth uh, appear. In the digestive tract, it can break down the walls of the gut, which allows the candida and other substances to penetrate into the bloodstream, uh, bloodstream, and as a result, the toxins will be released, leading to leaky gut. And we've talked a lot about leaky gut. Um, leaky gut 
can cause leaky brain, can cause leaky skin, can cause just malabsorption of nutrients and so many other things. When the pH balance is off, the candida yeast may grow out of control, leading to a more systemic and flesh uh, problem. And this leads to candida overgrowth, which is a chronic health condition. As a result, you might have some new sensitivities, allergies, intolerances that you've never had before. Are you suffering from um, reactions to foods that you've never had before? Are you gaining weight quicker? Are you more hungry or craving sugars more than you, you did before? So what are the causes of this candida overgrowth syndrome? Number one is the antibiotics. The antibiotics don't just kill the bad bacteria, but they kill the good bacteria too. And the microbiome be, then becomes imbalanced as the good bacteria helps keep that candida under control. So without the good bacteria uh, keeping the microbiome balanced, the antibiotics lead to a breeding ground for candida. So think about your skin. I was actually listening to a podcast um, this morning about someone who had acne and back in the day you would just strip that skin of the with alcohol and scrub it and try to just get all that acne off but then you're disrupting the the bacteria and the good microbiome uh, microbiome on the skin right and then it would only fester into worsened acne well it's the same in the body when the antibiotics do that to the gut it's killing everything so you don't have the good bacteria fighting the bad bacteria and keeping everything in balance. The second um, highest cause of candida is birth control pills. They themselves don't directly cause a yeast infection or, or candida overgrowth, but combining them with um, a diet high in refined sugars that we're gonna talk about, combined with antibiotics, birth control can trigger yeast infections. And then the oral corticosteroids, treating asthma with these inhalants increase the risk of developing candida in the mouth, which then lead to systemic candida overgrowth. Cancer treatments. So according to a study, candida can become invasive in cancer patients and present serious complications. Um, chemotherapy and radiation can both work to kill the cancer cells and tumors, but they also kill the healthy bacteria and fight candida. And it only makes sense. I had a friend that went through um, these treatments just recently, and the doctor literally said, our goal is to take you to the line of death with the treatments, kill the cancer, and then bring you back. So if that's the goal, you can only imagine what it's doing to the good bacteria and your immune system that is there to fight the candida. Lastly, is um, our next is the diabetes and insulin resistance. And diabetes, insulin resistance, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease have skyrocketed. And I will be coming out with a, a video this week about um, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease skyrocketing. That is truly the pandemic. Sugar levels in the mouth, when you have too much sugar in the body, right? That's why I mentioned the holidays and all of the sugar that we've been eating and the alcohol, that the sugar levels in the mouth and other mucose membranes are higher in diabetics and those with insulin resistance. Because candida is a type of yeast and sugar feeds yeast, the excess sugar in the body helps candida to survive and proliferate. And to make matters worse, usually a person with insulin resistance is eating a diet high in sugar, which is further feeding the fungus. And then guess what the fungus is doing? It's increasing your cravings for these sugars. So those little buggers in you are yelling at you to eat more sugar, eat more sugar. And so it's not just about a lack of willpower that you can't stop. You've got your insulin resistance, which is causing your cells to scream at you to get more sugar, to get more energy. You've got these little buggers like these, the, the fungus and the parasites and the candida saying, I need more sugar to survive and how dare you try to starve me, right? And, and you've got um, the cells that are not allowing the glucose to get in because you're insulin resistant. And so then your cells are still, 
um, screaming at you for more for more energy and more sugar. And they're not looking for the protein and the fat. They're looking for that sugar. Next is foods with mold. This is something no one's talking about. Well, what are the healthy foods that could be triggering or, or contributing to your candida? Mushrooms. Everyone's eating mushrooms, right? They're healthy. They're great for your brain. Grapes, peas. Peas, people are doing peas in concentrated amounts in pea protein. If you're a vegan and you're having that pea protein or the grains like the hemp protein, um, all of those other proteins, not only are you getting that mold, but you're getting it at a concentrated amount. And these foods can trigger candida growth in the body or make things even worse. And the grains, the starches, and the sugars all of these foods all break down into the simple sugars that feed candida. So what are the symptoms to look for? Intestinal in issues like continual flatulence, burping, bloat, constipation, diarrhea, it can go back and forth, cramps may be caused by an imbalance of gut microbiome or too much candida, and this is called dysbiosis. You can also get sinus infections, and um, a lot of people you know, even just eating some grapes or some foods with mold can trigger a sinus infection. That's a sign that candida could be up in your sinuses. Um, it does affect the sinuses and can lead to persistent cough, post-nasal drip, congestion, allergies, flu-like symptoms, brain fog. Candida can be in the brain. Um, it can lead to a lack of focus, poor physical coordination, difficult concentrating. That can go for parasites as well. I will never forget my husband was suffering from these horrific migraine headaches on the full moon and the new moon. And what was happening is the parasites were coming out to play and triggering a little um, switch off with the, with the viruses that he's had. And it was causing these migraines. And it was only at the full moon and the new moon. Parasites come out to play during the full moon and new moon. So if you're starting to get it just once or twice a month, make sure you look at the calendar. When is the full moon and the new moon? That could be telling you a lot about what's going on with your body. It, and that's also um, triggering constipation or water retention during those times of year or times of month. Um, the full moon and the new moon do bring out different bugs in the body and they become active. Mood disorders. So candida overgrowth can lead to dramatic mood swings, anxiety, irritability, depression, and even panic attacks. And then like we talked about in the beginning, skin and nail fungal infections athlete's foot and fungal infections on the skin are common yeast infections which stem from the strains strain of candida and these recurrent infections may be a sign that you have systemic candida in the body not just in the skin remember the skin is your largest organ it's where your body wants to get everything out right so it is the easiest way to get things out when I did, I, I have a scar on my arm and scar tissue is where parasites like to lie and, and, and stay. And so what I did is I used my gua sha tool right here. I put the um, castor oil and the accelerodyne iodine on there because iodine um, helps kill um, parasites. And I rubbed it. And what happened was there was a huge rash that came out for one day. And that was showing that the parasites were trying to come out of my skin. A lot of people are getting skin rashes from the vid, from the virus that we've been talking about for the last three years. And it's been causing uh, other viruses to become active and try to come out of the skin. Hormonal imbalances is another um, side effect of a candida infection. So you could have early menopause, PMS, low libido, migraines, endometriosis, water retention, mood swings, and weight gain. And it can mimic estrogen. So candida can actually mimic the estrogen leading to these symptoms and hormonal imbalances. Recurring vaginal and urinary tract infections. They, candida can be sexually transmitted. You can also see oral thrush. And this is a yeast infection caused by the strain of candida that affects other mucous membranes like the, the vagina. 
and it's often caused by the use of prednisone or other oral corticosteroids. So people don't want to do a candida cleanse because of the die off symptoms. It's no, it's no fun, right? So what you're gonna have if you do it too quickly and you don't do it correctly, some of the symptoms you might experience as you're killing off that candida are headaches, fatigue, dizziness, impaired brain function, intestinal distress, including the bloat, gas, constipation, nausea, it's no fun, sweating, sinus infections, skin breakouts, flu-like symptoms. So that's where we come in. We have created the Accelerated Candida Cleanse Protocol, and it's designed not only to kill off the candida overgrowth effectively, but also to minimize any of the die-off symptoms. And that candida is this fungal pathogen that causes candida overgrowth can colonize in the skin, the mucosal surfaces, and the accelerated candida cleanse protocol supports that healthy fungal bacteria in the gut by promoting the proliferation of the good bacteria while killing off the bad bacteria or the bad candida. And it really is um, surrounded by this one supplement, Mega Mycobalance. I will go through periods of just doing the cycling through a bottle, uh, maybe three times a year, because everyone's got candida, and this also helps with parasites as well. It's formulated with undesalinic acid and B propolis to support that healthy yeast and fungal balance in the body. Undesalinic acid is an organic fatty acid derived from castor bean oil that supports that healthy balance of yeast in the gut. And the bee, the bee propolis is a plant resin that bees use to line their hives. So it can help with the vaginal flora by restoring balance in the intestinal flora. And the use of the endosalinic acid successfully inhibits the formation of germ tubes that restrict growth of the candida. The B propolis is known for its antifungal properties and has been studied for its ability to inhibit yeast proliferation in the gut. Um, so what you wanna do is you take one gel uh, daily with or without food for five days, and then you increase that by one pill each day to get up to six soft gels a day. Um, and it's not, it doesn't really, I've never seen any side effects from it. I've never experienced any die off from it. But then what you incorporate, oh, I don't have it with me, is the Mega IgG 2000. And this is a supplement that I take daily. It is one of those that just is very gentle and it kind of goes through the gut and grabs things that aren't supposed to be there. And it helps reduce gut permeability, improve intestinal absorption, and it, is, it helps with the endo and exotoxins excreted by microorganisms. So it, what we love about it, it's dairy-free, unlike some other supplements, and it supports that healthy digestion, detoxification, and the gut barrier function. Um, what I do is I take one scoop daily, usually at night. I actually mix it with the detox powder. And if you experience a Herxheimer reaction or a detox re reaction, you can actually increase this amount. Restore flora. So most people, this is something that I recommend for people who have done antibiotics. It's a probiotic that combines three well-studied and widely used probiotic strains. And this combination of friendly probiotic yeast and probiotic bacteria helps with the digestive flora, supported with an advanced dual action approach to maintain that healthy intestinal um, environment. So I will definitely use this during the candida cleanse, but also if you, especially if you've been on antibiotics, um, that, the antibiotics really swipe your whole gut clean and you have that clean slate in a bad way, not in a good way, where you really need to work hard at building it back up. Um, so the benefits of the Restore Flora supports a balanced intestinal flora, promotes intestinal health, healthy bowel movements, helps digestion, 
helps with the body's detoxification pro uh, process and helps with regularity. Just taking one capsule with a, with a meal. When you're taking probiotics in general, you want to take them with meals because that's how it nature um, is intended, right? You take those good spores, the good probiotics with the food that it's supposed to come with. Next is the acceleridine, which I keep right up here in my office and take every day, three times a day. In addition to increasing your energy at the cellular level, improving your thyroid health, um, helping with hypothyroidism, it is antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral, anti-inflammatory, anti-parasitic, and anti-candida. Um, it will help cleanse the body of the candida and the parasites while also detoxing the body of the radiation and the heavy metals in all 100 trillion or quadrillion cells in your body. That is, um, the number of cells in the body is up for debate still, but it goes to every cell and the body kicks out the radiation and the toxins that are limiting our immune system's ability to fight off things like candida, but then it also goes after the candida. You know, if you had acne or candida on your face, what I would recommend doing is the Acceleridine and the Accelerated Scalar Castor Oil Mask. And it's real fun. You look like an orange, um, <laughs> you look a little crazy with an orange face, but it goes and it absorbs in very quickly and will actually go after the bacteria, the candida, the fungus, whatever is causing the breakout. So the Acceleridine also increases ATP which is your true cellular energy by 18 times. So that is going to help your cells do the work for you and have the, the strength to go after candida or other pathogens. It helps increase metabolism, caloric burn, brain function, physical performance, wound healing, fat burning, and that healthy apoptosis. So then it's also going to help repair the skin because apoptosis is destruction of the disease cell. So it's going to help with the cellular turnover. And that ATP is that true cellular energy. And when that increases, energy and fat oxidation increases. And it also helps with the thyroid, like we mentioned, to help with hypothyroidism and help with everyone's um, energy. Most people are walking around now with hypothyroidism. And a lot of that is due to insulin resistance, the processed foods, and the spike protein. Accelerodyne is the only monoatomic form of iodine that has 100% absorption, enhanced with scalar frequencies to detox the cells from toxins, radiation, and heavy metals. Um, I was just talking to someone the other day about the fact that you cannot compare Accelerodyne iodine with any other iodine on the market. A lot of other iodines you can have reactions to, um, and that's why people get afraid of overdosing on iodine, but Accelerodyne iodine is very different. Accelerated colloidal silver. Now, this is the supplement that started Accelerated Health Products because of my experience with my son's uh, leukemia that gave us a scare at nine years old. And I really had no knowledge about diet and other supplements at the time. This was what he was on. Um, I can just tell you that that boy is 21 years old, hardly ever gets sick, and he is very bored if he doesn't get two or three workouts in. So his energy um, is amazing, and he's feeling great. The accelerated colloidal silver is enhancing your immune system's ability to devitalize foreign pathogens, including those that are contributing to candida overgrowth and leaky gut. So it's strengthening the immune system. You have to think about how does candida or how do parasites take over the body? Well, it's because your immune system is working and focused on something over here. So the candida can, can take over over here. Well, how, can, how does someone get sick in, at, from a party and someone else doesn't? Maybe that person has an autoimmune issue. Maybe they've got an underlying infection. They're overstressed. When the body is overtapped, 
the immune system gets down. So the accelerated colloidal silver is helping helping strengthen that immune system and making it able to devitalize the other foreign pathogens that it gets hit with. Um, so as your immune system is strong, the body engages in anti-inflammatory processes leading to that optimal health and encouraging better gut health, weight loss mechanisms, and just strengthening your ability to fight candida. So what do I do? I take one to two teaspoons, three to seven times a day, depending on if I'm fighting an infection or what I want to do. You can also use it on your skin. You can use it on your face. You can put it in your ear for ear infections, spray it in your eyes for eye infections. Um, it is a no brainer and it's great for children and the elderly. It tastes like water. So it's great. Um, accelerated cellular detox powder. So excited because this formula is new and improved. And those people that were reacting to psyllium husk, because um, there's a lot of people where that actually backfires and makes them bloated and makes them feel like they've got a poop baby, um, that's out of it. And we have added new ingredients to draw out more more toxins out of the body, but it's also soaking up the candida die-off and toxins and effectively removing them through the intestines. The accelerated cellular detox powder is in all of my cleanses for a reason. Because my, my goal with all of my cleanses, whether it's the accelerated keto detox cleanse for weight loss and rebuilding your energy, the Ascent Diet cleanse, which is helping with everything in cleansing the liver and weight loss, physical energy, mentally ener energy, um, immune system, um, the radiation detox cleanse, with the radiation and heavy metals detox cleanse, all of them include the accelerated cellular detox powder because it's soaking up the die-off or the toxins which give you the detox flu symptoms so without those toxins or having bind the, them binded up much more effectively and quickly you are removing them through the intestines and taking the burden off the liver and the kidneys which is what causes those flu-like symptoms. So we have combined six organic ingredients to soak up the toxins that you're detoxing from and taking that burden off the detox um, organs like liver and kidneys. And it's scalar enhanced to further soak up heavy metals, insecticides, toxins, and radiation. You just add one to three um, teaspoons at night in a drink of water or juice. Juice. You can add it to the Mega IgG 2000. And I add a little apple cider vinegar or lemon with some stevia or sweetener and I put it over ice and it tastes great. So by itself, tastes like dirt. Not bad, not good, but just like dirt. So that is the candida cleanse, the accelerated uh, candida cleanse. So what else do I recommend? Adding in the accelerated keto is going to take away your sugar cravings because when you are fighting a parasitic infection or candida infection, those cells and that fungus is starving for sugar. Doesn't care about fat, doesn't care about protein, it wants that sugar. And that's why after you get off of the sugar from the holidays and you're trying to um, get off of it, those, those little buggers are screaming at your brain and telling you, I want more sugar. The accelerated keto puts you into a state of fat burning, ketosis within 30 minutes. And what that means is that the body is actually looking for fat to burn, not sugar. And that's going to trigger detoxification, starve the candida, suppress the cravings for sugar, heal the leaky gut, reduce inflammation throughout the body, reverse most chronic diseases. And when that's happening, you're able to intermittent fast because you're not craving sugar and your body is fueling off its own fat stores so it can go. It doesn't need to eat. And then you combine that with a high wild animal protein diet, low carb, the candida is starved. And the body then increases its own ATP production, clears the detoxification pathways, mobilizes the liver fat and the body's visceral fat. And remember, I just said, 
non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is skyrocketing. If you've got insulin resistance, and a lot of you do, which you've never had before, but the spike protein is causing insulin dysregulation, insulin resistance, liver issues, fatty liver diseases, even if you have not changed anything that you are eating. I'm seeing it in my own family. People are not changing their diets, they're eating the right way, insulin resistance is going up, and that is due to the increase in radiation, toxicity, and the spike protein. So the accelerated keto is cleansing the liver, going after that fatty liver disease, going after uric acid, which is also integrated in the, this whole um, mess of insulin resistance and, um, and fatty liver disease, but it's also improving the immune system. So accelerated keto, you take it in the morning, you can have your coffee, it cleanses the liver, it goes after the fatty liver, goes after that visceral fat, which is the fat around the belly that is that is putting you, um, that the purpose of visceral fat is to protect your expensive organs, right? We're under stress, we're in survival mode. So we need to get rid of that, um, that visceral fat and that fatty liver. Those are the dangerous fats. So all you do, take three to four pills in the morning, fast until you're hungry, stick to a low carb diet, Break your fast with wild animal protein because we're going to get into the fact that you want to stay away from the chicken, the poultry, the conventionally raised beef. Those have amyloid proteins, which trip up the gut pathogens, including candida. So that could actually be making your candida worse. No, the, the candida is not looking for the protein to eat, but the gut pathogens in general from the amyloid proteins from chicken conventionally raised beef from poultry, pork, um, even turkey is going to cause the, the playground in your gut to get out of balance. And the ecosystem is going to get out of balance where that candida gets to thrive. Okay, so next I would recommend the Mega Spore Biotic for everybody every single day. This is the only um, gut probiotic that is a spore biotic that I will take on a me on a um, daily basis because what it is it's maintaining your gut barrier and your immune set, uh, function it's a biphasic life site cycle of this bacillus spores that allow them to remain dormant in the harsh environments of the gastrointestinal tract until they reach the place they need to go where then they wake up and they say, oh, I need more of this, more of that, but not more of this. So it actually has a brain. Instead of like most probiotics that go in there, they might not even um, survive the, the stomach acid, right? And then they get there and they're overpopulating of too few of strains. That's not the way it works. Once it's inside the large intestines, these dormant spores change into their active forms and begin colonizing in the gut, and it reconditions the gut instead of receding the, with the probiotic strains that can't survive. So I take two per day, and I take them with a meal. Um, you can also incorporate the Mega Mucosa and the Mega Pre. And these are the mega pre feeds the good spores that we just talked about in the mega spore. And then the mega mucosa helps heal that leaky gut lining, which is really important. So it, it strengthens the gut barrier and they taste really good. So they're yummy. Not a, not a bad thing. Okay. If you want to go even further with strengthening your gut and fighting candida or cubina at bay. Um, you can incorporate the LifeWave stem cell patches that like I wear. These are the energy enhancer ones, but glutathione. Glutathione is uh, the master antioxidant detoxifier. It boosts the immune system, helps protect the brain. It will detox the body from the die-off of toxins that lead um, to your improved results from the candida cleanse. It will, um, with the patches, this is what's so important, is that glutathione is actually sulfur-based. And if you listen to me talk about sulfur, sulfur can actually 
back up your detox pathways. The sulfur foods are the healthy cruciferous vegetables, broccoli, cauliflower, kale, and those foods that used to work for our bodies four to 10 years ago could be backing up our livers. When you eat those foods, do you get gassy? Do you get bloated? Do you retain water? That's a sign that you need to cut those out. Well, glutathione supplements also include that sulfur. That's where the patches go around that problem because it triggers your own body to produce glutathione. The X39 stem cell patch, um, it activates your own stem cell pr production by elevating GHK copper peptide for regeneration. And it's just essentially resetting your genes to detox and handle candida like it would handle anything else better than we do at 50. So it's acting as if we're 20 years old, right? So our kids are able to deal with situations better than we are because they're younger. So that's where the X39 comes in. The liver flush kit. So I just talked about the fact that, and look out for it, my hot topic on fatty liver disease. Um, I talked about the reason that we need to do these liver flushes uh, at least four times a year. I'm doing them more like six to eight weeks, every six to eight weeks. Because most candida issues are caused by antibiotics, cancer treatments, or prescription drugs, the liver may be suffering. My mom had her surgery last August. She was on painkillers. Her liver enzymes went through the roof, like to the point where we are very afraid. Um, and, and the problem is, is I can't really get her to do a liver cleanse because of the way her pain is down in, in her pelvis. So we're, we're going a, around it, but we're treating her liver in a different way. You have to help your liver. Your liver detox pathways from all of this stuff can be backed up, leading to estrogen dominance and toxic overload. And then it's also going to cause insulin resistance to go up, fatty liver to go up, and it's just going to lead to a domino effect. You have a two-week preparation of taking a couple pills. Then you're able to flush out hundreds of gallstones and liver stones out of the body that are inhibiting the proper optimal liver detoxification. So think about it. You've got hundreds to thousands of these little green pea size um, stones in your liver just sitting there. How can your liver function? This is all part of your immune system and fighting things like candida. What you want to do in, as a, for, your, for your lifestyle changes to help with your candida cleanse, intermittent fasting, just like I mentioned before. The candida is starved and the body can engage in autophagy, cleaning out the, the bad cells, reducing the inflammation, killing that candida. And when you're taking the accelerated keto, the cravings for the sugar and carbs are suppressed and the body's using the body fat for energy, leading to higher energy while detoxing from the candida. Most people detoxing from candida usually have low energy, can't get out of bed, they're sluggish, brain fog, all of it. And then they're just eating all the, of that sugar, trying to get energy, but that's only backfiring, right? So the intermittent fasting and the accelerated keto are key to getting your body flipped into that good energy and helping with um, the success of the candida cleanse. Then of course you wanna eliminate the sugar, the grains, the alcohols, the carbs. These foods are feeding the candida, any fungus, any parasites, encouraging the growth throughout the system. So we want to eliminate all of that. And with the help of the intermittent fasting and accelerated keto, you will see um, that improvement. And then you can also add in the, you know, with the accelerodyne iodine. And if you're having hypothyroid symptoms, or if not, most people are suffering from thyroid issues. The accelerated thyroid is great for helping with the metabolism and the energy. So the combo of the accelerated keto, accelerodyne iodine and accelerated thyroid really are your fat burning, energy boosting supplements that help um, increase your energy during a candida cleanse. 
And then, like I mentioned, eating that wild animal protein. So the proteins like bison, lamb, elk, deer, wild fish, organic eggs, they're the most nutrient dense foods without the amyloid proteins. And the amyloid proteins found in chicken, turkey, and conventional beef, beef are proteins the body can't break down into usable nutrients and then further disrupt the gut microbiome. So not only are they contributing to candida, but they can't even be broken down into the amino acids to feed your muscles. So they're not doing you any good. And they're going to encourage that imbalance of candida and healthy bacteria. So eat warm foods. Now, this is interesting. When warm foods encourage the gut to heal as they nourish the spleen, the spleen is the battery pack for digest the digestive system. Um, this is something that I had to learn the hard way. I used to love to drink cold things. Well, I could feel my spleen back up and I would get bloated up top. So if you're bloated up in the, in the rib area, that's your spleen being cold as we talk about in Chinese medicine. So it's really important to eat the wild animal protein. That is going to give you the nutrients that we're looking for. We're not getting in our soils anymore. Unfortunately, the soils are depleted of the vitamins and the minerals that we used to get. And it is imperative to be supplementing. But the wild animal protein, especially bison, it is the most nutrient dense food on the planet. So candida is an issue that a lot of people are suffering from. They don't know they're causing these, these symptoms that are um, affecting their lifestyle. And if you're finding yourself really craving the sugar, especially when you're trying to cleanse or, or let go of that holiday weight, that could be a sign that you are suffering from candida. And those little buggers are telling your brain, eat more sugar, eat more sugar, because it that's what it needs to survive. So when you're talking about any of these fungal issues, parasites, this is where you want to um, use the tools of these supplements to cleanse quickly while increasing your energy during the cleanse so you're not suffering. So hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for joining me today. If I can help you with your health issues, you can contact me directly through the website, sarabandhealth.com. You can check out all of the cleanses. There's also a quiz on the website where you can answer the questions and figure out what cleanse is right for you. I'm happy to also put together a protocol for you if you want to contact me through the website. Join the free group coaching on Telegram with the link below. I teach you on a daily basis with tips and tools to enhance your health. And you will be a part of a like-minded group to support you on your journey in addition to truly taking control of your health. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram under Accelerated Health Products across over 100 channels under Accelerated Health Radio and TV. And my goal is to reach everyone on earth with eyes to see and ears to hear my message of healing. Help me share that goal, um, sharing this podcast with a few of your friends who may need my help. And it's more difficult now than ever to get the message out with censorship and the like. So I need your help and people are suffering. So please share the good news. Join us every week, Mondays at 2 p.m. Pacific, Tuesdays at 1 p.m. Pacific, and you can find the supplements we've talked about and all of my cleanses at sarabantahealth.com. Welcome 10 for 10% off site-wide. You can use that coupon. And thanks for joining us here and have a great week. Mm -hmm.